Check it out, I'm at the NECA and Funko Pop section and they do have some new PC McFarlane figures. They got Joker. I'm not sure why. Is he based off Arkham City? Yeah, he is. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Oh, this is like the damaged version. I do have the regular version. And they got Red Hood and Scarecrow. Looks pretty cool. A lot of details. Alright, so this target doesn't have much, it's all the same old stuff. But they do have this Hawkeye and he's going for $6.89, so definitely a pickup. Uh, still need several of these characters. So. Oh snaps, looks like Hawthorne hit this target as well. No accessory packs. That's what I'm looking for. Let's see. Oh, I didn't see this last time. Sanderson Sisters from Hocus Pocus. Love the first movie. Haven't seen the second one. A whole bunch of Slash figures. They have a couple of Shredder clones. Dialect Last Ronin. Alf. To have the Ultimate Herman Monster. Mighty Hog and Rhino Man. Chakahachi and Lotus. Another Chakahachi. In Space Silver Ranger with a vehicle. Wow, that's pretty hefty. And we got this fella here. Turbo Blue Centurion. Man, coming out with a lot of Power Ranger figures. We do have this Target Con. Inosuke Hashibira from Demon Slayer. I've yet to see that anime. I heard only good things about it. This is a fantastic looking Green Arrow figure. Mario. Oh, let's check the next aisle. Let's see what kind of Mode 2 stuff here. I don't really check too much of the Mode 2 stuff. I know there's a lot of Mode 2 collectors. I believe that watched the videos. Hey man. Yeah, too bad. A whole bunch of too bads. Stratos. And Fosta. Not sure who is new. Old. Got a black and white Joker. To infinity and beyond. Dinos in the Raptor Hey all the usual stuff. Love this set here. Bought it a while back. It was on sale. Waiting for this big fella to go on sale. I wonder if any of these are clearance stage, maybe. Let's go price check these. Alright, check it out. They have all the usual stuff, but I'm gonna check to see if these are less than 10 bucks. And they do have Raph from the store shell line, so I do need him. So I just need Donnie now, and I'll finish this wave. So this is in pretty good condition. So really stoked about that. Let's go see if these are on clearance. Let's first check the Mo2 stuff here. God, what was her name? Andra? Looks like Fisto. Don't know any of these characters. Got too bad. Beastman, I think he's been around for quite a while. Jitsu. Stratos. Pighead. Roboto. We got a crying baby in the background. Which is pretty common at Targets, right? Frosta. And yeah, that's about it. We still got a whole bunch of these. Got a figure in Dan. Full of fat. Yeah, let's go check these prices. 
Alright, Zombie Scarlet Witch. Come on, six something. Ah, 12.49. Okay, I'm still waiting. Alright, I'm in the NECA section. Looks like they have plenty of Goku's. Super Saiyan form. Uh, let's see. They have Ace Ventura. A whole bunch of Angus Young. Ash. Got some Migos. Got Robin. Batman. Superman. Willy Wonka. Mommy Mike. Raph. Restock on Ultimate Shredder. Very nice to see. Two of them things. Unarmored Last Ronin. Another figure that's really nice to see. Love these Last Ronin figures. Gremlins. We got Slash. Love this figure as well. Hug him. So attractive. Deluxe Mask. Batwoman and Ash Patty. Yeah. Some Funko Pops, all the usual stuff. Yeah, let's get out of here. They do have Black Adam, the artist version or whatever they call it. And Black Adam here. Legs for days. Superman, Batman. Man, this Black Adam does look really nice. I'm always tempted when I see it. Really good face comb. Love the armor. Hmm. Armored Batman. Still got plenty of these, man. These, yeah. I consider them peg warmers. I see them all the time around here. And usually see the older waves on clearance for four bucks. Supermobile. Let's see how heavy this is. Yeah, it's got a bit of weight. Got the bat wing there, too. It's really cool they released those. But it's just not for me. Are these new? No, I saw these last time. Oh snaps, look at this two pack. That's really cool. Who's that right there? Bob Lashley and the Miz. Still got some of these Rangers. Red Ranger, Yellow Ranger, Black Ranger back there. Nope. The Black Ranger. Um, Hope it's James. Destro. And Gung Ho. Knew these were going to be peg warmers. Uh, Mario figures are starting to show up. Yeah, well, maybe these have been around. <laughs> yeah, these ain't based off the movie that's coming out. Metroid. Samus figures. Oh, we got Zelda. We have Link in the house. Oh, we do have Link. Man, these are only ten something. They are basic figures. I want some really premium Super Smash Bro figures. I want all the characters. Love being Samus. Or sorry, um, love being uh, Fox. Star Fox. And you know how he has that deflecting uh, move ability where he like, you gotta press like down and A, I forgot, it's been so long since I played. But if you put, um, press at the right time when Samus um, does one of his power blasts, or like, you know, the charging ball and deflect it and hit somebody, oh, it's so satisfying. All right, who'd y'all used to pick when y'all used to play Smash Bros? I used to pick uh, Mario and fox most of the time all right let's get out of here all right i'm at a target let's see if they got some holothon stuff no but it's very nicely organized here got hudson in the house very nice et predator alpha predator dude i think this was this might have been from holothon You know, in the last video, I did spot that Reptar. I kind of want it. After reviewing the video, I'm like, it doesn't look that bad. So I initially thought, so I kind of want it. 
we'll see we'll take a closer look next time i encounter it i was kind of in a rush and just excited because of all the holothon stuff yeah all the usual stuff let's go check the other toy house you know what's been selling out very quickly this bowser figure all my local targets well the ones very uh, close to my house has been selling out so definitely copied this you know that little QC issue kept bothering me and but I gotta suck it up you know all of these have that little QC issue so it is what it is I'm pretty sure they're not gonna come out with like a reissue where they fix it such an attractive looking figure these I may cop later in the future but Bowser, man, I definitely got to see how this smoke effect, uh, let's see if I have breathing effect. Yeah, it doesn't exactly have the directions here and how it works. But yeah, we'll test it out. I'll show it in the end of this video. Yeah, we'll take a look together. It'll be fun. Um, but yeah, I love all these places they're coming out with. Not going to get them all though, for sure. Going to pick and choose here and there. 30 bucks too, man, such a good price. All right, this is the only one here. So sweet. Let's see what else they have here. Jetsu Kaisen. I really need to check out this anime. Last anime I watched was uh, Chainsaw Man. Which is very entertaining. Check it out, dudes. They have a new Ninja Turtles shirt at Walmart. Only for $8.98. This looks awesome, so definitely copy this. Alright, let's check out the remnants. Please tell me. Oh, they do have a Reptar. Dude, it was meant to be. And they. Looks like they rest Pretty sure they restocked on this. This wasn't here last time. There was only one last Mighty Hog and Rhino Man, but they have a Reptar left. So in the last video, I said this was a good looking reptile. I saw when I was reviewing the video, I was like, damn, it's not that bad. Oh, dude. I guess I was looking for like an exact replica of it. They do have still a couple of turtles. Pretty tempted to get these two, but yeah, I think we'll pass. Because I love how it comes with the weapons. Mikey. Leonardo. These feel nice too. It's quite tempting. Why is only two turtles? Reptar. I'm pretty sure he's 15 or 16. Uh, still got Tall Thug and Short Gangster. Three of them. And then we got this chick. I like how she looks. She looks grunt and jersey red. Still got the owl figures and a whole bunch of. There was only one uh, last run in Rogue dialect last time. Got Rex one as well. Dang, it's meant to be. Alright. Man, these are tempting. <laughs> Hope I don't regret it. Alright, let's move on. Alright, let's see what they got here. Any new Transformers? What is this? Transformers Earth. Earth Spark. Megatron. A small figure. Guess that's a new movie that's gonna come out. There's always something Transformers related coming out. <laughs> I can't keep up. And we got this. Barry Allen Flash with a black suit. Very cool. Oh, it's the Darkest Night build a figure. Oh, I didn't know this came out. I don't really keep up. Whoa, they're all flashes. Kid Flash, Jay Garrick, Wally West. That's a pretty cool wave. Quite tempting. But of course, like with Flash figures, you gotta have really good articulation for the poses. You gotta have that running pose going. Probably could hit it, but not 
the way I would want it probably, so I'll probably pass. Got Rakondo. Python Patrol. Dude, <laughs> I can't believe this was here. I thought they were all going to be taken. Let's see if they got any Bowsers. I already bought them, but... No, Bowsers are getting taken with the quickness. And dude, I saw a post from uh, Toy Shiz that Bowser was going for 22 bucks on Walmart. Like, what the heck? Already? Unfortunately, I, didn't, I wasn't quick enough to get the deal. But, I mean, for 30 bucks, I think that's an excellent price for that amount of plastic. And the way it looks. You got the giant Luigi. These are pretty cool, too. Yoshi. A lot of giant figures coming out. Oh, man, I can't wait for the giant Mutant Mayhem Ninja Turtle figures. I'm probably going to hunt that whole wave down. All those play sets and stuff, man. I'm, I'm, I'm very excited for the movie. It's definitely not aimed for us like 80s and 90s kids, but, you know, I'm keeping an open mind. You know, I love the animation style, honestly. Uh, yeah, I think that's about it. Let's see what else we... What is this? No. Oh, they got a mega half pipe here. Fast and Furious, Plymouth Roadrunner. Whoa, the Wolverine one, the Corvette. That's calling my name, but I'm gonna fight the temptation. Man, that does look cool. <laughs> I love the colors. My dream car when I was younger was uh, a yellow Acura Integra or uh, a convertible yellow Mustang. Didn't end up getting one of those, but pretty happy with the car I do have. All right, let's get out of here. All right, I haven't visited my uncle in quite a while, so uh, Uncle Ollie's that is. So let's go see what he has in the house. Hey, uncle. Check it out. They got some new Black Series. They got uh, uh, Scrotum Chin. <laughs> Yeah, Goofy has Panda Bubba. <laughs> Let's see how much these are going for. $9.99, okay, it's about half price. We got Rekka, $15.99, okay, still a good price. I believe retail was $30, $29.99. Yeah. Excellent looking figure, I already got him. Darn, should have waited. Don't y'all hate when that happens. Buy something so quickly and then couple months later or several months later it's on freaking clearance Lando yep. $9.99 as well we got some basic Marvel figures Iron Spider-Man Shang-Chi $5.99 these basic figures are $6.99 Thor uh, we got Lando, $5.99. The Vintage Series. Uh, oh, we got some Batman Adventure figures, bendable figures. We got Nightwing. Do we have Batman? It was all Nightwing. Got Green Lantern Flashlight. Got a Transformer here. Uh, Slither Fang. You have no idea who that is. Let's see how much. It's part of the War of Cybertron series. $3.99. We got some Ghostbusters. He's gone. $5.99. Yeah, I think we got the whole crew. Not that good. Oh, we got some Ninja Turtle figures. I have not seen this movie. I should check it out. Who's that? Foot Lieutenant. Okay. No turtles, just these. Is this Raph? No. Let's see. Okay, it's this chick. April Neal, okay. $5.99. Arnim Zola, never seen these. Yeah, hey, Aquan. Oh, check this out. D&D Dragon. Young Bronze Dragon Expansion Pack from the Hero Clicks line. Oh, this is made from NECA. 
As you can see, these kids, and it's going for $5.99. We got some wrestling figures. Bobby Heenan, the brain. These are going for $12.99. Some basic figures. Shayna Fazler, China. A lot of basic figures. Oh, we got this two pack. Yeah, I've seen this at Target's, at Walmart's. $14.99. Retail was $19.99, so $5 cheaper. Some Doctor Who figures. Never seen these. I checked the show out ages ago. Just did not like it. Maybe I'll give it another chance one day. I've heard a lot of good things about it. But honestly, I don't think it's, it's just not my cup of tea. More Shaolin Chi figures. That's about it, dudes. Yeah. Uncle Ali doesn't have too much that I'm looking for, so we'll visit another time. See you, Uncle. Finally, this particular Target got the Holoton stuff. Let's see. Oh, man, what a weak selection. <laughs> we got the Shaman Predator. Seen him plenty of times. We got the accessory set. Seen him or seen this set a couple times. Kermit the Frog, I don't remember seeing him at the last Holothon stuff. We got the turtles, missing one turtle, no Donnie. Where you at Donnie? Yeah, this is tempting me every time just because it's turtle related. But, you know, they look, I don't know, I feel like they could have made a better version of these. It's tempting me, I'm gonna fight that temptation. Y'all see me beating up that temptation? Yeah. Conquered Garfield, the Animaniacs, uh, Piggy. Oh, here's Donnie. Yay! Hey, let's put him down with his brothers, man. Who the heck separated him? Shame on. There we go. Now they're all together. Oh, is this those killer cl killer clowns from outer space? Very cool. We got the nun. We got Pinhead. Leatherface. I think these are pretty old, right? Yeah. Ghost face as well. Pennywise. Yeah, really weak selection. Some blind bags. Got a Herman Munster. That. That's about it, man. Weak. <laughs> Tech. Guess I'm not surprised with this target. All right, let's move on. Literally have two percent battery left, so here is Indiana Jones with the bike set. Let's see. Let's take a look. Oh, it's just like three and three quarter figures. Hey. Wonder if they had any six inch figures. Okay, man, I think it's light. Big box. Really little figures. Jeez, man, Hasbro. All right, back about to die. Hey, what's going on, fellow Rangers? Welcome back to my humble abode. Hope y'all enjoyed the hunt. So, at Target, we found Raph, and I already found Leo and Mikey maybe like two, three weeks ago. So, really happy to have found this at a Target once again. And as y'all saw from the last clip, I was at a Target. And my battery was at like 2%. Well, afterwards, I went to a Walmart. And there was a Mikey from the Story Shell line. And right behind it was Donnie. So I am officially finished with the Story Shell line. So really happy about that. Uh, these don't have the best paint apps. But I think all of them have, have at least like a little QC issues here and there. So it is what it is, but I'm just glad the car bags are in really nice condition. And I love the art on these, so really glad I don't have to hunt for these anymore. All right, let's go and get to the next pickup. All right, so up next at Target, we also found Reptar once again. 
So in my last video, I actually mentioned that I didn't think it was a good looking Reptar, but after reviewing the video, I was like, dang, you know, it's not that bad. And it's a it's a plushie, so it's not gonna be like an exact replica as the cartoon look of Reptar. So of course it's not gonna look exactly the same. So but this brings a lot of nostalgia. I mean Rugrats was one of many favorite shows. Uh, in the 90s <clears throat> in the 90s for me as a child you know um i'm an early 90s kid so i mean in my opinion we had what we had so many of the greatest shows i mean x-men gargoyles rugrats doug i mean the list goes on and on but that's just my opinion um but yeah really happy to have found this and you know it's crazy um so after i went to the self-checkout section and I rung up the uh, the tag for this or the price for this. The price wasn't showing up, so all of a sudden it said uh, the team member a team member will come and help me out or whatnot. And this lady came by and she scanned it again, and the price didn't show up for some reason. So she just punched in three ninety nine. I was like, oh okay, and she was like, there you go, hun. And yeah, so I'll show a screenshot of how much I paid for this. And yeah, you know, she was like probably like 40 to 50 years old. So in her mind, she was probably thinking like, yeah, this can't be like that much. You know, it's a stuffed animal because especially when she was younger, it was probably a lot, a lot cheaper. So, yeah, it's kind of crazy how expensive these plushies can get nowadays. Of course, they're in high demand now. So that's that's the reason why they're marked up so much now. But yeah, they're so popular these days, you know, more than maybe like 10 years ago. You know, I think it's bringing a lot of people a source of comfort and a lot of nostalgia. Like, for me, it's definitely nostalgia. I'm not going to be, like, holding this in my bed, maybe. But uh, anyways, let's go ahead and get to the next pickup. All right, continuing on the Marvel Legends clearance hunt, I found Hawkeye for $6.89 plus tax. I believe somewhere around there. So really happy to have found him for that price. Uh, let's see. So I still need... Mr. Knight and Sharon Carter to finish this bath. Uh, I do want this Moon Knight figure as well, but yeah, I just don't want to pay that $25 price. So I'm going to wait. It's going to be patient. You know, even if I find them loose in good condition, I'll be happy with that. So, all right, let's get to the next pickup. All right, once again from Target, we found Bowser. Yes. We found him last video, but I kept seeing this QC issue with his hairline right there. And, you know, I was hoping that I'll get lucky and find one in the near future without that QC issue. But, yeah, I've come to uh, the conclusion that all of them ha have that defect. So it is what it is. So I finally picked this up. And, yeah, these are flying off the shelves. And... There's a good reason why. I mean, it looks fantastic. This is such a good looking figure. And for this much plastic for 30 bucks, man, such a good deal. And you know what? It does come with the fire breathing effect. So let's go ahead and open this up and check it out. All right, here is Bowser out of the packaging. It took a hot minute to take him out. And let's go ahead and turn him around. As you can see, I already took out his shell which you need to remove in order to get this battery compartment. And you need to, there's a screw there, which you need to take out. And you need to add three AAA batteries, which I already did. And there's an on and off switch. Let's go ahead and put this. Oh, also, so um, you also need to take out this piece here and put in about like, I think the, it, the instructions say like eight to ten droplets of water. And you'll see like a little hole there. I actually use a straw to uh, drop some water in there. Let's go and put the shell back on. I have not tested out the fire breathing effect yet. I'm going to test it out with y'all. So you need to press this spike here. Let's go ahead and press it. Oh, man. There we go. <laughs> That's so cool. It probably looks much better in the dark. Let me see. Let me actually dim the lights here. All right. I just turned it off. 
There we go. Very cool. There's no sound effects, but um, that is an awesome addition to a toy. You know, I don't think I've ever seen that in any toys before. So very cool. Props to Jack Specific for adding this feature on this Bowser. They didn't have to. I still would have bought this for 30 bucks. Now, see, the head doesn't have any articulation at all. You can't move it. The arms have pretty good articulation, more than I, I expected. Same with the legs, as you can see. So there it is. Let me actually turn off these lights as well, see if it looks better. Oh, yes. <laughs> that is freaking cool. Such a nice addition to this toy. Oh, man. So stoked to have this in the collection. Anyways, there's that. Okay. Hope you all enjoyed that. Uh, let's put the Triceraton Zog next to him. So you all can see like the size comparison to those who haven't seen this in person yet. So yeah, he's a, he's a big boy. And yeah, Zog is pretty tall as well. He's like a Marvel Select figure. Um, but yeah, there we go. I uh, hope you all enjoyed that. Uh, so let's go and get to a vintage haul that I accumulated in the past couple weeks. Alright, so from online, I got several figures. Got a really good deal on these. And they are based off the third Ninja Turtles live movie and first off we have the Samurai Evil War Horse with Castle Guard and this is mint in box as you can see love the box art uh, we have Donnie here and we have the Castle Guard with the Samurai Evil War Horse <laughs> it's kind of funny how they called it that but yeah there's the scepter some uh, pictures from the live movie so very cool there's the side love it and then we also grabbed the rebel war horse with rebel soldier so very cool the box art is tad a tad different which I love we got Mikey here on this one awesome got the scepter once again all right, and then, and then we also grabbed these three figures, also based off the third live-action Turtles movie. We have the Warlord. There's the card back art. Love it. Same card back art. And we have Walker, the British dude. He was like the leader of the gang. And then we have Mitsu, Princess Mitsu. So very cool to have these. This one's unpunched. These are not. This came in a case, so I guess it's just in really good condition. Um, yeah, it's really. it seems like it's really difficult to find these mint on cards, so really happy to have found a good deal on these. All right, last and certainly not the least, I picked up a grail of mine. And this is a toy that I had from my childhood. But I didn't ever have it mint in box. I mean, when I was a child, I opened up all my toys. Probably like most of y'all. Um, fortunately, I do have one of the toys from the set. And it is the trippy Tyrannosaurus Rex. Unfortunately, I did lose the figure sometime in the past. Either it got thrown away or got damaged and I had to throw it away. I have no idea. But so glad to still have this in pretty good condition. You know, there's some... Uh, Nicks here and here and there and there's some cracks here, which I don't know if it was like that before I mean, I used to play with these toys all the time um, and Throw them around and everything with my brother. So Yeah, I'm kind of surprised and how uh, Good condition this is As you see it has the TMNT logo Very cool. And this is from the 1993 set and Drum roll, please. We have, yes, Playmates Cave Turtle Don and his trippy Tyrannosaurus Rex set. Mint in box. Um, it has a couple nicks here and there, so it's not perfect, but it doesn't matter to me. 
I'm just really glad to have found this at such a good price. And yeah, you know, I don't even recall this figure, you know. I guess I had maybe lost it pretty early in my childhood. I have no idea. It's been so long. Uh, so it came in, came out in 93. I bought it at stores. So I was seven years old. <laughs> Truly a child. So love the box art. I definitely want the rest of this line. Didn't have the rest of the line as a child. So really looking forward to hunting these down. We have Cave Turtle Leo with his dinghy dino. We have um, Raph and his tubular pterodactyl. Very awesome. And then we have Cave Turtle Mike and his silly stegosaurus. I freaking love this line. I love the aesthetics of all of them. Can't wait to hunt these down. So, yeah, you know, I'm really tempted to even take this out because, I mean, but I'm not going to, of course. I'm just going to have to search for a nice minty figure of Donnie here, Cave Turtle Donnie, so I could put it on my old childhood T Rex here. So, yeah, so stoked to have this in my collection. I'm probably going to get like a some type of a clear box for it. A clear case for it so I can keep it protected. So this Sunday, coming Sunday, I'm going to actually be attending Toy Atlanta for the first time. I wish I could go on Friday and Saturday, but unfortunately I have to work, you know. So I'm going to be going this Sunday, going to be meeting Century TMC. So really looking forward to meeting them up and hanging out and looking at some toys and whatnot. So hopefully they still have some good stuff on Sunday because I'm pretty sure a lot of the, a lot of the cool stuff is going to be taken on Friday and Saturday. Anyways, thanks a whole heap for making it this far into the video. I really appreciate it for y'all watching and supporting the channel, all the likes, comments, and the new subscriptions. Of course, if you want to, if you don't want to miss out on any of the content and any uploads, uh, hit that uh, notification bell. And please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch y'all next time, alright? Ranger out. Peace.